Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial video for Defense War Destiny Child. So today we are going to talk about Tamamo, the new legendary card in the game. If we take a look at her description, she is just something like Purple Heart, but she is able to provide buff or debuff to your child. So meaning to say, we can just merge Tamamo with any child on the battlefield and get a new random child with the average star level. Sounds like Purple Heart, right? So the main thing here is the buff. The Darkness Orb is the debuff which is killing the minion for 10% based on your attack. Something like the, the mid cat, C3, C3, never mind, just the cat, okay, the, the mid cat. Now the Light Orb is like the damage buff and that is something like Aurora Heart, okay, providing you the damage buff. So without further ado, let's just get started with the game and see how Tamamo works, alright? So the same thing for this game, okay, uh, I'm going to set up the cards on the battlefield before I start to break down and explain everything in detail. So just let me do that real quick because, you know, like whenever I'm trying to play and explain at the same time, you know, definitely mistakes will be made and uh, I, you know, I just fucked up. And I hope that this time I'm going to avoid that. So just want to mention one thing is that um, actually Tamamo, uh, she works with any card, any deck is okay but just to keep in mind, especially when you're playing Billy, Werewolf or Charlotte kind of deck that is mainly focusing on 1 to 3 character, uh, one to three attackers, you know, uh, it will be more risky because if you are getting the Dark Orc onto your main attacker, then uh, basically your game is gone as when your attacker is attacking the the minions, you know, the minions will be healing again and again, 10%, 10%, 10%, and eventually you just lose. So you don't want that to happen, alright? You know, sometimes, um, for example, if, if, if this, uh, okay, I can't show you now. Uh, let me just show you later when I can summon a child there. You know, I can show you how I use Tamamo to reposition my child and get it on the ideal location. I just hope that the opponent don't lose. Uh, you know, like because it's just round two. And hope that he or she don't lose too quickly you know like sustain longer okay uh, I get the, the thing here I mean like the Mona so I can't show you the repositioning thing that I mentioned so it's okay we can still do it later but I believe that uh, we still have the chance to do that mm. As you can see, this waiter boy it is uh, 3 stars and then the buff is going to the right, uh, the left side, alright? So, it's basically useless, right? So, maybe I would like to, I would like it to be Mona, uh, not, not Mona anymore, I would like it to be Billy. So, I'm going to use this Tamamo and I'm going to merge it here. Shit, it's still waiter boy, you know? At least you get the concept, right? Like, if you want to get rid of one child, then you can just merge Tamamo inside and then hope that the you know the location become the child that you want and at the same time hope for the best that the op that is coming out is light op and it will be landing on your attacking child so that you will grow stronger alright mm -hmm. or else uh, it will be just hard to play the game 
okay uh, now we have that so let's just focus on growing mm. let me get rid of this okay So we have a seven stars Billy here. Mm. Okay. For now, uh, other than growing Billy, you know, like growing stronger, um, what we need to do now is uh, try, try, try to get you know the light up buff. To this seven stars Billy, okay, so that you can get the you know like hundred and thirty one percent of damage buff. You know, that is just absolutely fantastic for a single attacker like this. You know, um, the bad you know like the worst case to happen is that you're receiving the dark orb as I mentioned uh, just now. You don't want that to happen. And one thing is that you can't merge uh, two Tamamo together if it is different stars. So, unlike uh, Purple Heart or Heart, you can just you can still mix them together, right? But not for Tamamo. You can go for any child, but not Tamamo and Tamamo. Okay, I think the, the opponent is going down. Okay, he lost. So um basically that's all about the um Tamamo, the new card. So let's recap a little. Um as I've mentioned, Tamamo works fine with any deck, any card. But when you are playing Billy, Wolf, or Charlotte, just hope that the Dark Orb don't land on the main attacking child, okay, because you will just lose the game. Then, uh, second is that mainly I will be using Tamamo to reposition my child. You know, when Billy or Mona or the waiter boy, they are not in the ideal position, you know, like not the perfect spot for them, I will just use Tamamo and generate a new child, hoping that that child will be the ideal child that I want to be in that particular location. So, that is what I call the repositioning from Tamamo mechanics. So I think that's all for this video and I hope you guys are able to understand what I'm trying to tell and you know like go and research for yourself and happy gaming. I'll see you in the next video. Okay. Bye guys.